Hi viewers, I'm Afreen Ali. I brought this video for basic fire fighting engineer, inspector, supervisor, QA, QC engineer interview 51 question and answer. Kindly subscribe my channel Afreen Ali. Important interview questions for fire fighting engineer, inspector, supervisor. 1. What is sprinkler system in firefighting? In a standard wet pipe sprinkler system, each sprinkler activates independently when the predetermined heat level is reached. Thus, only sprinklers near the fire will operate, normally just one or two. This maximizes water pressure over the point of fire origin, and minimizes water damage to the building. 2. What is a dry type sprinkler system? Dry pipe fire sprinkler system. A dry pipe sprinkler system is one in which pipes are filled with pressurized air or nitrogen, rather than water. This air holds a remote valve, known as a dry pipe valve, in a closed position. 3. What does it take to set off a fire sprinkler? Each individual sprinkler head is triggered automatically when the air rising to the ceiling reaches a fire-specific temperature of red bulb for buildings, 68 degrees. Often, only one or two sprinklers are required to fully extinguish a building fire. 4. What is a frangible bulb? The frangible bulb is simple to use, comprising a small thermo bulb made of glass containing a chemical liquid that will expand rapidly when exposed to rising temperatures. Bursting the glass fire bulb at an accurately predetermined temperature, thereby activating the sprinkler. 5. What is a pendant sprinkler head? The upright, pendant sprinklers all produce a hemispherical water distribution pattern below the deflector. Sprinkler operation. During a fire conditions, the thermal sensitive liquid in the glass bulb expands, causing the bulb to shatter, releasing the button and spring seal assembly. 6. What is NFPA 13? NFPA 13 is an installation standard. It does not specify which buildings or structures require sprinkler protection. Rather, once sprinkler protection is required, it provides the requirements for the design and installation of the system. 7. What is a fire hydrant system? Fire hydrant pump systems. Also known as fire pumps. Hydrant boosters. Fire water pumps. A high-pressure water pumps designed to increase the firefighting capacity of a building by boosting the pressure in the hydrant service when mains is not enough, or when tank fed. 8. What is the use of zone control valve in firefighting? Zone control valve is a system designed to separate the area in case of maintenance and to get the indication of fire zone on a combination of butterfly valve, flow switch, pressure gauge and test and drain valves. 9. What is the fire alarm system? A fire alarm system has a number of devices working together to detect and warn people through visual and audio appliances when smoke, fire, carbon monoxide or other emergencies are present. Alarms can be either motorized bells or wall-mountable sounders or horns. 10. What is a flow switch in a sprinkler system? Fire suppression. The water flow switch is a mechanical to electrical fire alarm input device. It tells the fire alarm system that water is flowing in the sprinkler system. 11. Why are fire hydrants different colors? Known as NFPA 291, it says fire hydrants using public water supply systems should be painted chrome yellow, and their tops and caps should indicate the available GPM. Below 500 GPM should be red, 500 to 999 GPM should be orange, 1000 to 1499 GPM should be green, and 1500 GPM and more should be blue. 12. What is a dry riser? A dry riser is a normally empty pipe that can be externally connected to a pressurized water source by firefighters. It is a vertical pipe intended to distribute water to multiple levels of a building or structure as a component of the fire suppression systems. 13. What is a fire hose reel? A fire hose, or fire hose, is a high-pressure hose that carries water or other fire retardant, such as foam, to a fire to extinguish it. Outdoors, it attaches either to a fire engine or a fire hydrant. 
14. What is a flow and tamper switch? Flow switches detect water movement to drop in pressure and activate alarms. Tamper switches detect when a sprinkler valve has been partially to fully closed and usually activates a trouble signal at the control. Although some cities require them activate alarms. 15. What is the use of flow switch? A sail switch, vane switch A flow switch is a mechanical switch that is switched on or off in response to the flow and non-flow of a fluid such as air or water. A sail switch typically operates through the use of a paddle which gets displaced due to the force of fluid moving past it. 16. What is a water flow switch for fire alarm? A water flow detector, commonly produced by system sensor is an electromechanical device designed to send an alarm to a fire alarm panel and or fire department when a continuous flow of water occurs through the fire sprinkler system's piping from an activate D fire sprinkler head a leak in the system. 17. What is dry riser testing? Dry risers are used to deliver water within buildings for fire fighting purposes. Inlet connectors are typically contained in accessible, but secure, enclosures on the external face of buildings and are identified as a dry riser inlet. 18. What is an OS and Y gate valve? One type of valve commonly used to control water flow to fire sprinkler systems is known as an OS and Y gate valve. OS and Y means outside stem and yoke, or outside screw and yoke. OS and Y gate valves operate by opening and closing via a gate, which lowers into or rises out of the valve. 19. What is the use of pressure switch? A pressure switch is a form of switch that closes an electrical contact when a certain set fluid pressure has been reached on its input. The switch may be designed to make contact either on pressure rise or on pressure fall. 20. What is a water flow sensor? Water flow sensor consists of a plastic valve body, a water rotor, and a hall effect sensor. When water flows through the rotor, the rotor rolls. Its speed changes with different rate of flow. The hall effect sensor outputs the corresponding pulse signal. 21. What is a pre-action fire suppression system? The system's discharge is a two-step process. First, the innovative detection system identifies smoke or heat, which activates a pre-action valve that allows water to flow into piping and effectively creates a wet pipe sprinkler system. Second, individual sprinkler heads released to let water flow onto the fire. 22. How do you turn off the fire sprinkler? Take the padlock key to the pipes or a wall nearby so you can find it when you need it. Keep the area around your water controls clear. Do not store anything within 1 foot 30 centimeters of your water controls. If sprinkler water control valves are ever turned off, be sure to turn them back on. 23. What is a main drain test? The main drain test is a suitable do-it-yourself project the sprinkler system supplier can perform the test instead. 1. Notify the local fire department of the upcoming test if the fire sprinkler system is connected to a central alarm. 2. Find the water flow test control valve. 24. How do I manually turn on a sprinkler valve? One way is to simply turn the solenoid, the black cylinder with two wires, counterclockwise a one quarter to one half turn. To shut off the valve, twist the solenoid clockwise until it is snug on the valve. The other way is to use the bleed screw the same way, loosen the screw enough to really serve, one quarter to one half turn. 25. How many sprinkler heads can be on one zone? At different pressures, the sprinkler head and nozzle will consume different amounts of water. For example, at 35 pounds per square inch, psi, the 5000 series rotor using the 3.0 nozzle will use 3.11 gallons per minute, GPM. If your home's water capacity was 10 GPM, you could place three heads per zone. 26. What are the types of pump sets used and why in firefighting? Jockey pump, used when there is a pressure drop of one bar. Diesel pump, used in case of power shutdown.
Electric pump Main pump starts instantly in case of fire and will cut off at 7 bars. 27. What is fire alarm check valve? It allows flow in one direction and prevents backward flow and with this gives signal to BMS with alarms. 28. What is FM200 and where is it used? Heptafluoropropane is colorless, liquefied compressed gas. It is stored as a liquid and dispensed into the hazard as a colorless, eclectically non-conductive vapor that is clear and does not obscure vision. It is used in communication rooms, electrical rooms, computer rooms etc. 29. Types of detectors Smoke and heat detectors 30. Do we use strainers in fire pumps? Why? No, we don't use it because the water coming is portable usually only in cases where we are using river or lake water then we require strainers. Else we prefer not to use them as it will reduce suction flow. 31. Radius of a sprinkler. It is 1.5 meters. 32. What is the distance between each sprinkler? It's 3.6 meters to 4.2 meters. 33. Working pressure of fire system. It's 10 bars. 34. What is Siamese connection? Used as auxiliary connection through which the fire department can pump water to supplement existing water supplies. 35. What are the settings of diesel pump upon how much pressure it is cut off? Don't know CK Internet. 36. What is OS and Y? Tamper switch, pressure switch and the working. OS and Y valve, outside screw and yoke, is used in fire system mains and is used for easy knowing whether it is in open position or closed as we cannot know from a typical gate valve or ball valve. Tamper switch, it is a supervisory device located on the control valves of a fire protection system. The tamper switch is a device which when connected to an alarm panel or sounder, signals a disturbance, opening or closing, at the control valves of the system. Pressure switch, these critical components sense the activation of the system and then electrically secure the ventilation systems operating in the protected space. 37. What is the use of strainer? It is installed before the cooling coil to protect dirt and foreign material entering into the cooling coil, evaporator. 38. What is the use of staircase pressurization? To provide fresh and clean air in the staircase when fire occurs in the floor. The pressurized air keeps the smoke away from the stair wall. It is used for creating positive pressure. 39. Name some fine controlled valves. Needle valve, spindle valve, regulating valve, motorized valve, etc. 40. What should be height of fire cabinet from floor level? 1 meter. 41. What are the different types of sprinkler heads used in fire protection system? Upright sprinkler, pendant sprinkler, side wall sprinkler, pendant recess sprinkler, extended side wall sprinkler, extended coverage etc. 42. What is the test pressure for firefighting pipe network? 1.5 times working pressure. 43. What is the temperature rating for firefighting sprinkler head? 170 degrees Fahrenheit 44. What is the fire department connection known as? Siamese. 45. Name the different types of fire extinguisher. Portable type CO2, portable type dry powder and water. 46. What are the different types of valve used in fire protection system? Alarm valve, zonal valve etc. 47. What the pipe material used for underground fire piping? UPVC, MDPA, RT. 48. What is zone control valve? It is used in FF system on every floor. It consists of OS and Y gate valve with tamper switch, check valve, pressure gauge, drain point, flow meter and sight glass. Check FF notes. 49. What is the standard length of hose in a hose reel cabinet? 30 meters. 50. Floor control valve assembly. Check Google image and understand. 51. Name the pipe materials used in water supply. Check internet. Kindly subscribe my channel a free gnarly and best of luck.